Wow, it's a beautiful day out this morning. Just stunning out here. It's like glass. And we took the mast down yesterday. We have a huge project sitting in front of us, but I don't think we can let this just pass us by. So we're gonna go out on the boat, go fishing, go surfing, bring our spear fishing stuff. Who knows what we're gonna get into. It's gonna be an epic day, and then we'll be all charged up on happiness for our big project mode. The boat doesn't have the mast on it. We're just uh, packing up snacks, having some breakfast and coffee, and getting ready to go out. So who knows, maybe we'll catch a wahoo. We're definitely gonna do a little deep sea fishing. It'll be a great day. I love my life, 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 I love my life. No, no, we don't know where tomorrow might bring God the future, the hours away. So me, I live my life today, me, I live my life today, yeah. So love me, make me talk, what I want for talk, me have enough to say. So me, I go live my life today, me, I go live my life today. So everybody help me sing it out. I love my life. Oh, I love my life. Oh, I love my life. So may I live my life today. Um, the throttle cable broke when Tyler showed up, and we want to go fishing. And it looks like it's just the sheave on the top that is getting the letting the cable that this slides inside of it kind of like push and not have tension. So we're gonna try to fix it up. Yeah, we just went to leave and Nestor jumped back there and took a look at it and I don't know, put his hand on it and it started working. So we came back to the dock. The boys are gonna try and uh, ghetto rig something. So it works for the day. You can see the, the, the outside part. Mm -hmm. And you see the inside part. He said, oh, okay, this is, this is more flexible, right? Than the outside right now. And with the pressure, it kind of like buckles. What if you well, just use like a, I was thinking electrical tape. See, but I think the cable slides inside of that plastic. So you can kind of wrap it with, with tape. Mr. Fix it. Mira como se dobla. Yep. Mira, mira, mira. There's pretty much nothing on a boat you can't fix with duct tape. Duct tape WD-40 and a screwdriver. So we got the first problem fixed. And now the revolutions of the engine. The RPMs. The RPMs are not reading. I think it's an electrical connection. They're gonna use some of these copper, create a better connection. This is the Milan boy shit right here. That's perfect. We are live! There we go. There might be a manatee hanging out here. Nestor just jumped in the water and something got spooked and dove down. You could see the mark from it. I think it's probably a manatee. I almost want to jump in with my mask on. For sure you can see a manatee right out there. So amazing. All right, I'm gonna jump in and see if I can't swim with a manatee this morning. We haven't even left the boat yet. So many exciting things are happening. So the camera sucks and it didn't record any of that. I can't even believe it, but I just went out there and there's a mama and a baby. I just swam out like really calm and really slow. And I was able to like hover above them and watch them swim for a little while. And then um, they noticed me and kind of swam off. And I followed, but like really slow and calm behind them to try not to scare them too bad. I got back to them again and I could really see the mama and the baby because it was slightly shallower. And they were just down on the bottom eating seagrass. It was amazing, life changing. Swimming with manatees right here off the dock. Oh my God. Just incredible. They're out there. I didn't want to mess with them too bad because I don't want to scare them off. I want them to hang out. Boom! That left like six. Engine running. We got throttle. Time to go fishing, baby. Woo! And 
then we go trolling. Está bien bonito eso. Mira, 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 mira. So beautiful out here today. I feel like the camera's just not really even doing it justice. It's getting windy, guys! Woo! <gasps> Esther starts doing this when he decides he wants a new board. You don't have to ruin this one to get a new one. No, I didn't do that. Beautiful to watch. That's how what happens when you get out of surf and you're like. What is that? It means light because it's like so how dark deep down is it there? here? I well, didn't bring my deep GPS. So this is the setup for the deep sea. Red snapper, right? Chillo? Yellow eye. Look at that beautiful reel. Some little lights and a bunch of books. Laid it out. Big weights at the bottom. Let's see the crazy depth. We're at the drop. An undisclosed drop in location. Look at that. Look at that gem. Look at that beautiful, beautiful piece of land. I love Culebra. My grandmother bur buried my umbilical cord in Presaca, which is the mountain tallest in Culebra. That's where I'm from. 260. <laughs> Ah, diablo! Ahí tira, rayo! ¡Diablo! ¡Ahí está! 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 We are very excited! So today is the day that we start dealing with the mast. We brought the mast the other day like you guys saw. And we're gonna be taking the corrosion of the mast. All this on the top. All the corrosion. And we're gonna be changing the tanks because we won't be using that anymore. Today marks the day one of doing work on the mast. Yeah, we're gonna refit this bad boy. Um, hopefully in a week or so I'll have it painted and then I'll start splicing the anima and stuff. So stay tuned. We're gonna do some videos every day, hopefully. Doing the Kuliko rigging and uh, and I'm gonna be doing some sanding. So some boring sanding. I also have the boom here. It's a bit, a bit of a big project, but the guy that 
refit this boat before us did a very good job but they still get galvanic corrosion because of the uh, bolts new spreader lights probably and new Coligo rigging so let's get to it so the first step that I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be setting up all the turnbuckles with the jaws and all the toggles on the respected stay so when I take them out we have the final length the right length of the dynamic stays so that's step one I'm doing the lowers I'm doing the tanks and then coiling it up to deal with that later but step by step no window so yeah I've been working all day as you can see the mask is getting clean the guy that owned this boat Gerald did a very good job of I don't know what he used as an inhibitor with the screws, but everything is tapped into the aluminum and everything is coming out. Nestor took off the steaming light and the spreaders are off. And these are the tracks for our whisker pulls. Uh, lots of dismantling today. I mean, that's gonna, gonna stay until dark today. Just keep going, chipping away little by little. So that's that for today guys. I've been stripping it up all day. I've been diddling with the Raider mount that I wanna repaint it and stuff, but there's a bolt that is giving me problem. One broke and I already managed to take it out. But I'll bring the torch and give it a little heat and try and deal with that tomorrow morning. I took most of the fittings out, the tracks for the whisker poles, the winch. This is what I wanna fix, all this corrosion. So this looks like, like a big broken bolt that I wanna take out. Came and picked me up in Winnie and uh, 